Okay, room treatment is the most important thing when it comes to mix engineering. Room treatment controls all. An untreated room is very deceptive. It'll make you hear things in your mix that aren't actually there. Now this happens because sound can build up in certain areas of the room like corners and make you think that there's something being boosted or even cut and thinned out when actually it's not at all. You can avoid this by adding in some acoustic treatments and to fill in the corners to absorb that sound. Now you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of do-it-yourself materials to make acoustic treatments. I did uh, incorporate some of that. I went out and bought a bunch of materials to make the uh, acoustic treatments that you see on the wall here and in the corners and over on this wall as well. Took me about a whole summer to complete in uh, some of my spare time that I had. But before going that route, I just sort of used what I had laying around because I didn't really have a budget to go out and buy a bunch of supplies or time to build them. So what I used to do is just find old rugs laying around or ask your parents or ask your friends if they've got any that they're not really using anymore. And I would take those rugs and I would nail them to the wall. They worked great and looked pretty cool to have a bunch of Oriental rugs on the wall. Another thing I would do with those rugs is that I would roll them up long ways and just lean them in the corners. That way I'm canceling out that 90 degree where a lot of base can get built up in. But if you can't find that many rugs then you can also get some old pillows and stack those up in the corners. I would probably find enough pillows to probably go up about halfway up the wall. At least something that's going to be just uh, covering the height of your monitors. The main goal here is to just cut down on the room's reflection by deadening 